In this section, we're going to look at summations. And effectively, um, we're going to be working with sigma notation. And we're going to be asked to show certain combinations of these four that we have here and be able to factorize uh, expressions and to rewrite expressions um, in terms of n. Okay, so that's really the idea. You're going to get some kind of summation. Uh, it might be something like 4r squared plus 2r plus 3, for example, uh, which we're then going to be able to break apart into separate summations, and then we're going to bring them all together, factorizing. That's the idea. Okay, now um, these are the four we're going to be able we're need we're going to need to be able to work with these two i have written down immediately these two you are given in the formula booklet regardless of whether you're doing um so we're in the uk exams as well uh, english exams okay edxcel aqa ocra and ocrb mei all have these in their formula booklet okay so you don't need to memorize those they are given to you how you can show that these are uh, correct you can use proof by induction to do that okay and i've got videos uh, that will go through that already these two however you are not given so we're going to need to know those OK, so I would like to make sure that you understand where they come from first before I write them down. So the first one uh, so was summing one from R is one to N. So effectively, what I'm saying is that if I was summing from R is one to three of one, what that means is that we've got one for R is one. We've got one for R is two and we've got one for R is three. And so this is just one plus one plus one, which is three. So if this was the summation from R is one to four of one, then it would be one plus one plus one plus one. And so you would get four. And so the result of each of these will be precisely whatever value you put up here. So if you want from R is 1 to 100 of 1, then it's going to be 100. So that means that the sum from R is 1 to N of 1 is just N. Okay? So that's quite straightforward to remember and to utilise. Okay? Now, as for the second one, the sum from R is 1 to N of R, okay, well, let's ha take a look and see what this is. So the sum of R from R is 1 to N. So we substitute in 1 first, then 2, then 3, then 4, then 5, then 6, all the way up to N. OK? So this is what we need. We need an expression to represent that. So that is an arithmetic series that we have there. OK, so this is an arithmetic series. Now, arithmetic series, sequ sequence series, we look at in the A-level maths course. OK, um, and I'm going to use a formula that is developed in that. Now, it really depends on when you are taught sequences and series as to whether you've met this by this point or not. Um, sequences and series is not a, an AS maths topic and so some colleges might not teach it in the first year um, so it certainly doesn't it's not get it doesn't get taught in the first year when i teach it um, so um, it would be new to first year mathematicians that first year uh, further mathematicians here but it really depends on when you learn it at college so this is an arithmetic series what do we know about it well we know the first term is one. So if you're if you've got no understanding, uh, if you haven't done sequence and series before, right? You haven't seen this before. This might look a little bit alien to you, but this is the way that we do this. So the first term is one. A is representing the first term. The common difference is going up in ones each time. Okay, that's one. And the number of terms we have is n. Okay, so n is n. Now, you could also use, because there's two formulas for this, 
um, the looking at the last term, which is n. Okay, so we've got the first term, the common difference, the number of terms, and the last term. So this would be equal to, so the two formulas that you use, the sum to n terms, are 1 half n, 2a plus n minus 1d. Okay, that's one formula, if you don't know what the last term is. And the other formula is 1 half n, uh, a plus L. Okay, that's if you know what the last term is. Now, this one's easier to work with. I mean, you can use either, but because we know what the last term is, I can just go in directly with this one. So this is 1 half times n times the first term, which is 1, plus the last term, which is n. And so, this is 1 half n and I'll write it this way around, n plus 1. Okay, so these are the four formulas that we're going to be working with. These two you are given in the formula booklet. Okay, so they're the formula booklet. These two we don't get given and we need to memorise these. Okay.